Hello everyone, John here again. I'm going to show you the operation of an Alltech AT37G. I'm going to get up in the bucket and show you how it works. Okay, so here we are at the business end of this AT37G. This yoke right here will handle the majority of what you're going to do when you're in the bucket. There's a trigger under here. We would squeeze that up and then we can take this whole yoke and we can move it that way. We can push it that way. We can also turn this like a throttle and right on here it shows the different uh, things that it will do so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up on it gently get us out of harm's way of the truck here I'm going to extend the third stage right now Raising the first stage, first arm right there, you see that going up. We can go up 42 feet with this bucket truck. Clint, as long as I have you right here looking. Uh, this is for stowing and unstowing the bucket. What you can do is just stow it and unstow it. That's exactly what it does. Um, we have a couple of hydraulic controls right here if you want to run hydraulic tools of any sort. This lever right here will turn those tools on and off. This is something I really like. Platform rotation. A lot of times you wind up, you're on the job, you're on the wrong side of the bucket truck, the wrong side of the job, the pole, whatever it is. We can take and rotate the bucket without having to turn the truck around all the way over to the other side. And hydraulic controls, you can feather them as much as you want. For whatever speed you're looking for you're getting closer to whatever it is you're coming up to uh, just feather the throttle down a little bit so you uh, know raising that arm a little bit more and then I'll show you we'll go around And with this truck, you can go around 360 degrees. You can go around thousands and thousands of degrees if you want. You can just keep going all day long. Pretend you're at Disneyland. But I am going to stop it here. And I'm going to go back the other way. And I'll speed it up a little bit. And I'll start slowing it down a little bit. Lowering the first arm by turning it like a throttle. Taking the third stage in. And I'm going to go down before I'm all the way in just to see where I'm at on the toolboxes. That way I don't come down and hit one. And looks like I need to move over a little bit more. If you look on the pedestal there, there's a red line drawn. You can line those up if you want. Or just look at, oh, I want to go in. Can look at the rest right there or look at the red lines drawn on the pedestal so here we are at the lower controls on this AT37G uh, it does almost the same things that the top does up there uh, if we were going to be in the bucket that's considered upper controls we would put that into upper controls here this is the lower control unit so what we do is we hold that and say you want to raise that arm Again, you can feather these as much as you'd like to go at whatever speed. 
but you have all the functions here. You can make the boom go in every direction you want. This is also an insulated boom. We're good to, oh, I think 37, was it 42,000 uh, volts here. So uh, you don't have to worry about electrocuting you or somebody else. This is a nice feature, especially if you're an older guy like me. You got a couple of steps here for getting in and out of this bucket. Inside the liner here, we also have another step uh, in there for helping you get in and out. Let's take a quick look under the hood here of this 2017 F550. What do we see but a 6.7 liter diesel engine backed up with a six-speed automatic. Uh, this engine makes 440 horsepower and 925 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, I think you can pull just about anything you want with that. Um, they don't rust. These are aluminum. Uh, I do want to point out there are a couple little marks on this truck. little spot there in the hood and a little gush here in the hood. Um... Out of the interior there. We have central locking right here. All stainless steel hardware. Not going to rust. Nice hydraulic actuators. Wheel chocks. These are all adjustable. You can move them around wherever you'd like. You can also lock these individually if you prefer. Uh, that comes up. A lot of additional storage in there. Our safety uh, cones, and we do have hooks back there. Uh, safety cone holder. We have our backup cameras right here. Pinto hook, combination ball. Uh, this cabinet just goes all the way through. There is a little. Uh, up there again cosmetic it's not affecting the operation of the door at all all these shelves not only are these adjustable but you can take these and raise and lower remove them whatever you want up here through the excess of this door you can put in whatever it is you'd like to put in there digging bars shovels <clears throat> chalk again for our wheels um, nice shelf in there to put whatever you want and there's also hooks for hanging things if you'd like to hang something in there or someone um, again we have our central lock if I push that in put a padlock through there now all these doors have locked and they won't open so here we are on the inside of this 2017 Ford F550 show you how it operates a little bit shut my door here that'll stop beeping um we have tilt and telescoping we also go up and down it goes in and out and then you just lock it in whatever position you want we have delay wipers over here turn signal stock we have our cruise control here uh we have tow haul mode on this if you want to pull a trailer you can manually shift up and down. Got a double DIN AM FM radio, Pioneer, a little aftermarket. We have uh, air conditioning. And it blows out nice and cold. I know you can't feel that on camera, but it does work. We have our PTO here. If we put the park brake on and we put that on, the PTO will turn on. Oh, release that parking brake. We have strobe lights and we have spares here in case you wanted to put something in there. Uh, we have a backup camera. Oh, there's our backup camera. We have a backup alarm. Those are nice aftermarket units. They're color. Nice big screen there. Um, a couple of 12-volt plugs there. A PTO indicator when the PTO is on. We have a center council here with storage cup holder telephone whatever you'd like to put there if you're hauling around a third person with you you can pick that up another cone holder here we have our shifter here for four-wheel drive uh, this is for our dashboard control center there module um, that really I think we covered just about everything take it for a ride
All right, back in our 2017 F550. Take it for a little ride. Uh, you might see some of these little LED type lights blinking on the camera. They don't blink when you're in the vehicle. It's just some kind of uh, thing when I guess you're recording one digital thing to another digital thing. It might do that. It'll also do that with the dashboard, but the dashboard is nice and solid as are all of these. Just pointing that out for you. That's a lot of vehicles will do that. Um, this truck does have a six-speed automatic with overdrive. And it drives real nice, handles real nice. Engine sounds beautiful. I don't know. I know they typically don't sound very good on, on camera, but sounds beautiful.